Pittsburgh Council members are making moves to approve $210,000 for a three year agreement with a local animal shelter to bring back the city's spay and neuter program for neighborhood cats and family pets. The future of the program has been unclear after it was suspended, then made a limited return. And now people who trap, neuter and release community cats in the city aren't happy about some of the new changes. Pittsburgh City Council gave preliminary approval and will take a final vote next week to provide free spaying and neutering services. But the updated program has cat lovers scratching their heads. Lydia Swanson started Oakland TNR Coalition. They've trapped and helped nearly 1,000 street kitties since 2019. It's just too great of a risk for, for a lot of us, honestly, because, yeah, we don't. We don't do this for any reason other than we love them. The number of spay neuter vouchers for feral felines will go up from five to 30 and people can get two vouchers for pet cats or dogs. Swanson says there are major barriers though. One is that you have to live in the city. Another, you can only bring them to Humane Animal Rescue of Pittsburgh. Swanson says a lot of rescues don't utilize HARP services because you have to sign a waiver giving control of medical decisions. In the past, we have seen um, cats be euthanized for things that are definitely treatable. Dr. Ariella Sampson, HARP's executive director, says they don't make money on this program, but they do it because they want to keep the stray cat population down. She says they do what's in the animal's best interest under anesthesia. If we find things that that are making the cat suffer, that, that are um, affecting quality of life, that have a very poor prognosis um, or are going to make it so that the cat is unable to be put back outside and is not an adoption candidate. We make a very difficult decision, but that is to humanely euthanize them. It's usually things like they require a full mouth dental with full mouth extraction. Swanson spoke with me from outside a vet office while feral cat she trapped was getting dental care. Now he doesn't want to go back outside. She thinks more clinics would have put in a bid if they knew the city was looking. That fear and the possibility of an animal that you put so much effort into just not getting that second chance that they deserve. 